There were many people during the Second World War that did incredible acts to resist the evils of the Nazis and the Germans. Millions of people found themselves living under German occupation, and lots joined the local resistance groups such as the Partisans, who would carry out deadly sabotage operations and executions of captured German soldiers and officers. The resistance in certain areas was very successful, but there were many women who played an important role in this. Some women were recruited for British SOE, Special Operations Executive, and were used as links between the British War Ministry and the resistance, but if captured they were usually executed. The Soviets used women in combat also, and there were many female partisans, for example Leporadich, who was executed in front of a large crowd for firing at the Germans, while she was trying to rescue other partisans on the battlefield. But there was a couple of Dutch sisters, who along with another woman, named Hanne Schaft, was a constant thorn in the side of the Germans, and despite being teenagers during the war, they were deadly and were known for their luring of enemy soldiers into the woods when they were executed. Join us today as we look at the incredible story of Truss Overstegen and Freddy Overstegen, the sisters that slaughtered German soldiers. Remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. The Overstegen sisters were Truss and Freddy. Truss was the elder sister and she was born in 1923, and Freddy was born in 1925. The family lived on a barge together, and they were Dutch. They lived on board this barge, and before the war began, they started to harbour people from Lithuania, inside of the hold of their ship to protect them. But their parents would divorce, and they were then raised by their mother, and as young girls they had to share a bed, as their mum wanted to force them into sibling bonding. They moved into a flat, and there were other beds, but these were often taken up with Jewish refugees, that their mother was housing during the 1930s. The girls grew up as communists in the village of Schotten in North Holland, years before the Second World War broke out. But when Hitler came into power, Freddy was just seven and Truss was nine, when he began to attack the Jews and persecute them. Their mother instilled the need for compassion and aid towards those in need, and these girls would then begin to make dolls for children who were victims of the Spanish Civil War, and they would get used to sharing their homes with those who were fleeing during World War II. Dutch resistance noticed this work, that the small family were doing, and one day the leader of the local area in Harlem visited the Overstegen residence to see if their mother would allow her two daughters to join up. At the time of this, Freddie was just 14 and Truss was 16, but the three were happy to help in any way, but before they carried out any act, their mother told them to always stay human. With this, they were now part of the resistance and were part of the acts of sabotage and even killing that they would do. By being innocent young women, the two Overstegen sisters could pass through the Nazi control without raising suspicion. They started to become couriers for weapons for the resistance, and also began to steal identity papers, so that Jewish people could obtain false papers, and then these could be used to help them flee to safety. Their acts undoubtedly saved lives, they were then tasked with going a step further, and burning down a warehouse which was being used by the Nazis. They managed to flirt with the guards, who were there and distracted them, then they succeeded in burning this building down. But as they became more involved, the girls were then taught how to shoot in an underground potato shed and they practised. It was said that, Truss drove the bicycle and Freddy sat on the back and was shooting. Because they were girls, nobody noticed them. Their acts weren't just defiance, they were dangerous, and if the Nazis or Dutch police caught them, then chances are that the two girls would have been killed. But the fact they were girls and young, and looked even younger, the officials were less likely to suspect them. The Harlem Resistance Group commander who spotted them clearly knew they were talented. But they then were tasked with attacking railway lines and demolitions. It shows you how dangerous the girls were, with Freddy keeping a lookout to make sure that no one came around at the time. Freddy also said of this that, I didn't want to see that. They later told us that they'd taken all of his clothes so you could not tell who he was. I think he might still be there today. It's believed that the Overstegen girls repeated this a number of times, and that they lured soldiers into the woods with the promise of a romantic encounter, and then these were killed. They were known for killing with their own hands, and this made the soldiers who drank in the local bars their prey, and they did kill a number. For the sisters, killing Germans and high-ranking people was a cruel part of the job they were sent to do, to rid the Netherlands of the Nazis. After some killings, it's believed they even had the urge to help the dying, but they ultimately realised this was necessary. They continued to try and smuggle children to safety, but some would be killed by falling bombs from the sky, 
and this would also haunt the girls. But in 1943, the sisters were joined by a 22-year-old law student named Hanny Shaft. The trio were very close, and they worked together on their sabotage missions. The three continued to target Nazi officers for the next two years. Shaft became known as a girl with the red hair, and she became part of the Nazis' most wanted list for her assassinations. Shaft and Truss of Stegen were planning to kill NSB Harlem policeman Nett Christ on the 25th of October 1944, but other resistance members beat them to it. But on the 1st of March 1945, NSB police officer Wilhelm Zerzi was executed by Hanni Shaft and Truss of Stegen. Then two weeks later they tried to kill, but wounded a man, who was a hairdresser who worked for the SD as an informant. Within the week, Hanni would be arrested, and a month later she was executed. But the two Overstegen girls were greatly upset by Schaff's execution, as she would not return from a mission, and they viewed her as a sister. Trusty tried to break her out of prison, but it was too late, as she disguised herself as a German nurse, and was to accompany her to a medical examination, but Schaff had already been executed at this point. But they remained part of the resistance, and as the war came to an end, they had been responsible for the deaths of many German soldiers and SS officers and other collaborators. They were crafty and sly but were brilliant in their actions against evil. Following the war, the pair struggled to cope with the trauma of the war and the horror of some of the killings, but Truss became a painter and sculptor and they both had children and a family. The pair received a number of awards after the end of the war, but they were remembered as the two sisters who were incredibly deadly. The actions of Truss and Freddy Overstegen were savage and lethal in the face of their enemies, and they were a key part of the killings and executions of many important Nazi collaborators. What was amazing was that there was little suspicion that was pointed towards the girls being involved, or being captured or investigated by the Gestapo, and for years they had been blowing up bridges, railway tracks, and luring soldiers to their deaths. They were a key part of the Dutch resistance, and their incredible stories deserve to be told. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.